So I have a little demo for us to look at that um, demonstrates procedures and functions. Does something a little more interesting than adding two numbers. And um, this is posted for you. It's called the fitness calculator. Okay, so first of all, let's look at what it does. You enter your statistics. So let's say you're 64 inches tall and you weigh a fairly regrettable amount. And um, let's see, too awfully old. And a resting heart rate. And this tells you your body mass index. It tells you whether or not it's in normal range. It tells you your training heart rate and it gives you some fitness advice. Okay, so let's um, take a look at the code. So if we come over to Developer and Visual Basic, um, it's in the form, the code for the form. And um, here's our picture of the form and let's view the code. Okay, so um, this thing does its work using some formulas that I got from a book. And um, they use these constants, which I just defined in the program. And what I really want to show you, though, is here's the main program. So it does three steps. It computes the body mass index by calling a function. It computes the training heart rate also by calling a function. And then it prints the results, this time by calling a subroutine. So the point here is I could have written this program as one whole subprocedure um, in the button results procedure, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it clear and divide it up into reasonable steps. And this is how I did it. So instead of a long and complex main program, I have a very simple one with three steps, which I can then look at individually. So here's the one that computes the body mass index. And you can see it just gets the height and weight from the text boxes and then um, uses a formula to do the computation. Here's the training heart rate one is similar. Um, it reads the age and the resting heart rate and uses a formula to compute the training heart rate. Finally, the um, subprocedure that prints the results, it has two formal parameters. And I named them a little different than I did the arguments, just to show you they don't have to be the same name, although they could. Um, here's the call where my arguments are BMI little case and THR little case. And here is my actual print results procedure. And you can see what I called the formal parameters. And again, even any relationship between these names is totally up to me and in some ways a coincidence because the matchup is done strictly by position. So the first one goes, the first argument goes to the first formal parameter as its value, and the value of the second argument goes to the second formal parameter as its value. Okay, so what do I do? I clear the list box. I um, add the item your BMI is, and I print what the uh, body mass index is. And then I have a separate procedure that I call to print the um, comment. And you can see that here, and I just broke it out. I'm kind of going a little overboard on making things into procedures just to show you the style and how nice and readable it is. So here's my, um, my print pr pr procedure for the comment, and um, it goes, it's a case, so if the uh, argument is the parameter is less than the lower limit, it says it's lower than recommended, if it's in between, then it says it's normal, and if it's bigger, then it says it's higher. Okay, and then back here, um, we say what the training heart rate is, and then we print an exercise recommendation which um, it just goes and gets the age from the text box, and it's strictly based on the age. So uh, maybe not the most sophisticated thing, but that's how it works. Now, um, let's just try something here. I'm going to go under debug and use step into the F8. Okay, and what that does is, first of all, it brings me over to the form, so I have to fill out the form. So I'll re-enter the data. Um, okay. What would happen 
if we lost 10 pounds here, um, say within a year, and keep our good resting heart rate. All right. Now we're in the code, and what's going to happen is I press the F8 key, we'll do the code line by line. So we start with our button results because this is the event routine that gets called when I click the button. Okay, now I'm going to compute the body mass index, and you'll see I have a function call to do. And what happens, remember our flowchart, we skip to where in the, in the program I have the definition of the compute BMI function. So here we are, and as I push F8, oops, didn't mean to do that, that was 8 itself, F8, okay, we'll go ahead and get the height, and you can see that it's 64, um, again, 129, um, okay, and here I'm doing the computation, and now you can see I've got the value 22, and let's keep going. And now we're back. Okay, so we finished this. This guy now has its value 22, which it got from the function call. This guy is still zero because I haven't done this function call yet. I'm getting ready to do it. So now when I push F8, I'll go to where that definition is. Voila. Okay, so here we go. It's reading from the text box. It's reading the age, it's computing stuff, and we're finished. Okay, and you can see that this has its value. And now let's go um, F8, and we're back. And now you can see this one has its value. This is 22, and this is 116. And those are the values that are getting past the arguments to print results. So now when I push F8, we're going to go down to print results. And if I look, this guy is 22, and this guy is 116, as they should be by their position. Okay, so let's keep going. We'll clear the list box, add the first item. And now we're calling print BMI eval, so we'll come down here. Okay, um, and you can see we passed this 22 in as a parameter. Um, okay, we're looking for our case. It should be this one, yes. So you can see it's chosen this case and it's doing that. All right, we're then after one case is done, you're done with your select case. That's the end of the subroutine and we're back at the line after the subroutine call. Okay, now we're going to do the next um, add item. We're call and we're going to call a final subroutine print exercise rec and this one has no arguments. Okay, so here it is. Um, we get the age from the text box. We're doing another select case, so we go through, and um, we're in this range, so we're going to do this recommendation, and, 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 and we're back. Now, this finishes print results, and where do we go now? Back to the main routine, the event routine, which we started with, and now we've finished this guy. We're at the very end, and if I push F8 one more time, we're done. Okay, so that shows you step by step what happens when you execute these subroutines and functions. And um, if I look back at Excel, hopefully, yes, everything is in the text box as it should be. I'm sorry, the list box. Okay, so uh, you should play around with this and um, make use of that F8 key. It's good for debugging and it's also good for stepping through a program and seeing exactly how it's working. So that's a good tool to have in your toolbox.